welcome to a video class of module 5 in software project management. So the topics are mainly risk management and software configuration management. So this is part 1. So we'll be to discussing topics in risk management. That is uh, the risk strategies, software risks, that is the types of risks. And how do you identify the risk, risk identification, risk projection, risk refinement, then RMM, that is risk mitigation, monitoring, and management, and the RMM plan. So all these come under risk management. And uh, I would say this part one deals with these parts. And uh, part two and part three would be from the next portion, software configuration management. So already in class, I discussed up to uh, risk uh, projection. So I would like to continue from risk refinement, those few topics. But uh, I would like to brush up with you the previous topics. So what is risk? It is an undesired event or circumstance that occurs while a project is underway. And what is risk management? It is actually reducing um, the impact of the risk, how we would identify it, analyze it and manage them well so that it doesn't adversely affect our company. Okay, then we discussed about the steps of risk management. Then we had learned about risk strategies, that is a reactive, two types actually, reactive and proactive risk strategies. Then what is a software risk, the definition again? And uh, next is the K2 question, that is, uh, what are the categories of risks or types of risks? So mainly, project risks, te technical risks, business risks, which has uh, again um, subdivisions, that is market, strategic, sales and management risks. And still there is um, another category of risks, that is known risk, predictable risk, unpredictable risks. And uh, next we discussed early in class about risk identification which just simply says how we would systematically identify this, the threats okay, that would occur and um, they are generic and product specific risks. Then we have uh, a risk item checklist that is the way in which we could check whether our risks are considered. Uh, we have a table for that that is uh, we would consider all the risks regarding project or the product size, business impact, customer characteristics and so on. So these are the items in the checklist and checking them would help us to see that all the risks are considered. Then next is assessing the overall uh, project risk. That is uh, we can assess the risk by asking many questions. Um, so a few questions are given here. Then next next is about risk components and drivers so it is the responsibility of the project manager to identify the drivers uh, that affect risk components like um, performance risk cost risk support risk etc and um, actually the impact of the risk drivers are in four impact levels that is negligible marginal critical and catastrophic next is uh, risk projection and uh, what is risk projection it's just estimation it attempts to rate each risk in two ways that is it gives us something about some knowledge about the probability that the risk is real and the consequence of the problems associated with the risk if it happens to occur so it says about probability and consequence and it has some steps um, actually we have discussed uh, this topic also and um, the steps in estimation are establish a scale that is uh, from numbers a uh, scale from 1 to 10 we are um, establishing a likelihood of that risk to occur then um, you have to um, think about the consequences then think about the impact of that uh, risk then in fact, assess the overall accuracy of the uh, risk projection. Then uh, we discussed um, the contents of a risk table, which has the first column as a summary, then risk category, the probability, the impact from a scale 1 to 4, which we discussed earlier, 
um, then RMM that is risk mitigation uh, monitoring and management then uh, we come to risk refinement so what is this risk refinement it's just uh, giving a form uh, a beautiful form for the risk how it can be represented that is it takes the form condition transition and consequence so it is like this given that some condition and uh, there is a concern that a consequence would occur okay some examples are there that is uh, sub condition one certain reusable components were um, developed by a third party with no knowledge of the internal design standards so this example talks about the condition as well as the consequence similarly there are two other uh, examples okay then you have the next topic that is risk mitigation monitoring and management in short rmm so an effective strategy for dealing with risk should consider three issues it says about risk mitigation that is avoiding the risk then monitoring the risk and then if it happens how to manage the risk definitely it requires a contingency planning and what is this risk mitigation or avoidance so uh, before anything could happen we should try to avoid it right so we shall say that with an example that is consider the example of risk of high staff turnover so what is the staff turnover now in any company uh, which employs a large number of um, employees uh, definitely if you think about all the employees resigning in one go it would be terrible okay so that is called layoff or turnover so what are the strategies for reducing this kind of uh, situation uh, it is a risk actually for a company so what are the strategies now first would be to meet with the current uh, staff to determine the causes uh, that uh, may cause the turnover okay any reasons that may cause the turnover like poor working conditions so you need to have a discussion then you have to mitigate those causes uh, that are under control before the project starts so before the project starts you have to reduce those um, causes okay then in the monitoring step the project manager is the one who monitors that uh, all these are uh, going in a proper flow okay then risk management uh, what it does is it involves the contingency planning um, it is uh, come it comes into effect when all the mitigation efforts have failed and the risk has become a reality okay that is when management role is there okay now next is the rmm plan so what is this rmm plan so each risk has to be documented in your plan it is um it's uh, it's using a risk information sheet that is ris and so once this rmm has been documented the project has uh, the project has begun the risk mitigation and monitoring steps begin and mitigation as we discussed earlier is a process of uh, a problem avoidance and monitoring is a tracking activity and um, i would like to conclude telling you the monitoring object is in fact that is to assess whether the predicted uh, risk do occur to ensure the uh, avoidance steps are being properly applied then to collect information so that future risk analysis is done properly okay so that is part one of our module five uh, we'll meet again in part two thank you